Coming up on the Midweek Madness AFL Today show, we bring on Callum Dick from the Courier Mail and Code Sports to talk all things Lions and Suns and 28th Parallels. Hey, Alex, what was your favourite thing in today's show? That he found Jed Walter before you. I like that. Yeah. Stats Boy, what do you like about today's show? Oh, just me being nervous about Harley Reid and the $1.8 million contract that North might offer. Nice one. We're talking all things news. We've got the Midweek Winner and Loser of the Week. We've got Yeah Nas. We've got the Champion Data All-Australian team, which is just bait. And then... The Brownlow Tracker, keeping our eyes on the Brownlow. Check it all out in the AFL Today Show, today, right now. Yeah, Nas. Hey, did Danger pull the wool over the tribunal's eyes? I did everything I could, sir. I didn't just pin his arms and ram his head into the ground, sir. I tried to lean back at everything, sir. I just had my legs pulled under from, from under me, sir. He didn't ram his head into the ground. It was well, a bit of momentum. That happens in footy. I, I don't think so, but a lot of people... He did talk well, so I'll, I'll give I him think that. that's the entire point, yeah. bro. Like, I think the wool over the eyes is like, literally, I've talked you out of the decision <laughs> you've made. And that's basically how I got my uh, wife to marry me. So I was going to say, there's, there's a correlation <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. Just keep talking. She's like, just... Oh, All right. <laughs> whatever, red man. Shut up. <laughs> and 10 years later, sucker. <laughs> 17 years. Jeez. Uh, the point being, basically, he's talked and talked and talked and talked. And he's like, oh, well, you see, like, I could, it could have been worse. I could have actually, like, you meant to go through and my momentum was, oh, I tried to pull it back. It's I like, agree with you. If I was trying to hurt him, I could have. You're like, that doesn't sound like it's helping your argument. They shouldn't probably say like, that. He yeah. still hit his head on the ground. Like, and I think this is the conversation we always have with these sorts of decisions. It's like... The simple, hard and fast rule of like doing what you can to prevent head trauma. And he's like, oh, I'm the president of the Players Association. I know all about head trauma, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yes, you're friends with Joel Selwood. We understand that. <laughs> back. But the point being, like he sort of talked and talked and talked. There should just be at least the hard and fast rule of like, yeah, it was still not exactly the world's safest tackle. You still rammed mm. the dude's head into the ground as part of the tackle one week. And I feel like everyone should be like, that seems fair. It's just been, they've just been inconsistent. I'll give, I'll give them that. I, I don't think that was that bad, but I don't think a lot that have gotten weeks were that bad as well. So if you're going to give one, you probably should give this one, but I don't think it was that bad. That's my point. Yeah. I think if no, you're going to do it, fair enough. you do it. Yep. They shouldn't be like, oh, he talked really well and he's a good bloke. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Alex? Um, if you smash someone's head in the ground, you should get away. Oh, I wasn't Simple. smashed into the ground. It was literally like a, a, a momentum thing. I, I don't know. I, everyone's putting it out of context, I think. Did I, like how, I, I like how you being like, on board with people getting concussed as being the hill you've decided to die on this week. This yeah, is the cool. I love people this getting concussed. This is what, cool what are you head trauma. About? Yeah. Well, you, were, you were against Peter Wright he couldn't have done anything there. You're allowed to pin the arms. There's no rule against you pinning That's the arms. That's literally the thing. It's like if no, you but, pin the arms and slam their head into the ground, you get a week. Right. It's literally written into the tribunal no, rules. If, if you just tackle someone normally, you're allowed to pin the arms. I don't like how people say, oh, you pin the arms. You're literally taught to tackle to pin the arms. That's all I'm saying. I don't like how everyone keeps saying Stats guy hates player welfare. He does. Yeah, nah, did BT's horrible commentary of this leave a sliver there for danger to sort of talk it out of like, oh, Sam Walsh has thrown his head into the ground again. <laughs> that was out of bounds, etc. It was out of bounds of the rules. Oh, I don't know. They, they don't listen to I can open the sliver. Well. Maybe, possibly. Just saying. I don't care enough. <laughs> hey, would you give Harley Reid $1.8 million a year? Yeah, nah. Nah, Swans don't have the money. Sure. Uh, yeah, but not for 10 years. I would for five years. All right. Yeah. Is the funniest outcome of its north behind this? Yeah, surely no. we did, we yes. obviously didn't get him in the draft. We're not going back there, surely. That, that's that why would it's be the funniest that's outcome. outcome. That would be so awkward. It would annoy me so much. Why would it be awkward? Lose yeah, one game. If you lost a game, you wouldn't be in this position. It's like losing. Uh, I love the idea of like you guys losing one game, costing you eighteen million dollars. It's also been at the Gold Coast not being able to win below the twenty eighth degree. I that's think right. Brady Rollings, who's running the uh, recruiting and stuff at North, I don't think he's gonna. He'd be like, we just can't go there. It's just it's so. Just wait, weird. you're gonna say no <laughs> to the greatest player? who have ever been born that's a combination of Chris Judd, Lance Franklin, Gary Ablett Sr. Jr. and Matthew Lloyd. Well, he's in the play two games. Did you say Buddy so Franklin yeah. in there? He yeah. did. Yeah, he did. Yep. The fact nice. that he's getting compared to Lee, 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 Lee Matthews. Yeah. Alex Jezelenko, Gordon Burden. Coventry. I'm Put saying no just because it's awkward. That's the only reason. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on. Do it now. Do it.